Right, what have I been learning about this week? It's a subject I spoke about briefly in a previous video and it piqued my curiosity. And it concerns the age we call the Dark Ages which is a period after the fall of the Roman Empire and there's a lack of written history about it. And the interesting theory is that it was caused by what could be described as an excess of natural disasters over a long period of time and a possible comet strike or an airstrike. And I wanted to know more about this intriguing period of our past. So this is what I found. Apparently the Dark Ages are appropriately named as civilization in Europe almost perished beneath attacks from like, barbarians in wave after wave and in the east they struggled to survive but then around AD 317 to 329 there was floods severe freezes and a reported blood rain in Britain and it seems that there was other natural events which contributed to like a darkness over the country like report a gigantic earthquake that shook the Mediterranean world. And it thought possibly Britain was ravaged by what may have been a cosmic disaster, a mysterious cataclysm in unknown regions of the earth, dark and the sun for two years. Volcanoes erupted, climates changed and there was always the omens. These comets passing through the skies, seeming unconcerned about our planet, but striking fear into its inhabitants whenever they were seen. And the quaking earth created more tangible terrors. And the sky and the earth sometimes seemed drenched with blood and swept with fire. And when there was no fire, there was darkness by day. Now around AD 410 the Visigoths sacked Rome and around that time there was said to be a gloom over the country so great that stars appeared in the daytime and there was an eclipse of the sun in that year as well. According to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles it says that in AD 418 the Romans collected all their treasures that were in Britain and Britain was left to fend for itself. Then in AD 441 it was suggested that a cosmic disaster struck Britain. There was widespread destruction on the island followed by years of migration, dark skies and the Dark Age was here. Now the first written accounts of these times reported that Fire fell from heaven and burned the whole surface of the island. So severe was it that many cities were still in ruins a century later. And it's been suggested that this destruction, or, or some of it, was caused by a giant meteorite exploding in the atmosphere and spreading devastation by heat flash and blast. Now this devastation that had spread terror in the earlier decades returned later in the 5th century around uh, 457 and someone described a gigantic blazing thing that appeared in the skies. Now this description was thought by some academics to describe the invasion of the Anglo-Saxons between AD 450 and 500. But Britain was a desolate land during this time, but it may also have described a comet strike. Uh, apparently, many of the old Roman towns were abandoned, and in Cirencester, unburied corpses lay in the main street. And at Rochester, people sheltered in the eating channels below the town's baths, and apparently they died there. And around AD 523, sky terrors returned to Britain. Strange sights were seen of dragons and other furious beasts fighting in the sky, as reports stated. And in West Kent, it allegedly rained wheat and later great drops of blood fell from the sky. 
Now, described as a grave omen, in the year of 536, the whole year the sun was without its usual brilliance, looking like the moon in the daytime. So, to many, this strongly considered that a comet or meteorite had hit Earth or an air burst occurred in 536, causing significant climate change. And a study of tree rings shows that trees experience colder than average summers and a comet impact may have caused crop failures and widespread starvation. Uh, just a thought, question comes to mind. Why are there so few Roman remains above ground level in the UK? And these vitrified forts, how did that happen? I don't believe locals set fire to them and made the stones harder. You need fantastic, fantastic temperatures are required to melt stone. So what could have caused this? Possibly a comet? Uh, these tragic events also coincide with the Justinian Plague, which is widely believed to be the first appearance of the Black Death in Europe. Yeah. I didn't know there was an earlier plague. The Justinian Plague. It likely reached Britain around the end of 540. And the plague may have killed up to half the native population. Now there was a study of an excavator site in Cambridgeshire. And it found that at least four people tested positive for Y. pestis. The bacteria that causes the plague. And the study said it's likely that most if not all of Anglo-Saxon England was affected. Now, it's possible that the plague was so rampant it took hold so quickly because of the population was already weakened by starvation because of these events. Now, is there any solid evidence apart from ancient reports? Possibly, yes. Now, there's been a very recent study by scientists at Cardiff University and they believe they have discovered the cause of crop failures and summer frost and dark skies in the dark ages. And it's a comet colliding with Earth. And they say that evidence from tree rings suggests that the Earth underwent a series of very cold summers around 536-540 AD, indicating an effect rather like a nuclear winter. And these science hippies in this school of physics and astronomy believe this was caused by a comet hitting the earth and exploding in the upper atmosphere. And the debris from this giant explosion was such that it enveloped the earth in soot and ash, blocking out the sunlight and causing extreme cold weather. And this effect's known as a plume. And the science hippies said that Historical references from the Dark Ages are sparse, but what records there are tell of crop failures and summer frosts. And the surprising result of these studies is just how small a comet is needed to cause such a dramatic effect on the Earth. And these science hippies calculated that a comet not much more than a third of a mile across could cause a global nuclear winter effect. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you think of it on something. But I found this ever so interesting. I'd also recommend watching Open Minded Wanderers channel. Her last video is very similar to this, similar subject. But it's a different theory. It's quite interesting. So you both compare the two.